Hey guys, it's Ace Master Cool Ace number one, best because I'm single, cool because I am. Welcome to my YouTube channel, subscribers, viewers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We're coming up with some good content. Now, we've been doing a Bar Girl Psychology series, and we're currently on 401. So, you guys want to catch up to speed here. Watch 101, 201, 301, and this is 401. So subscribe to Ace Bachelor Cool. All right, guys, so I've been coming to Angela City, Philippines for 13 years, and I live here full time. So I'm, I'm familiar with. Angeles City and the Walking Street area and things like this. So this is why I want to share some of my knowledge and education and experience. This is why we're doing this psychology course for you foreigners and guys on vacation and holiday. All right. So this course, we're going to talk about the invisible man. Now, if you guys... This is similar to The Matrix, where Neo had a choice to take the blue pill or the red pill, and he chose to take the red pill. And, you know, a lot of guys, nobody ever talks about this. But this is true. There, there's an actual invisible man out there. So, guys come here to Angel City. You can go to sports bars, restaurants, you can go to the shopping malls, you can go to coffee shops. There's beautiful Filipina girls everywhere and they're working and they could be bar girls, they could be waitresses, they could, they could work at call centers. You're going to see them everywhere. And, you know, number one, every bar girl and waitress has an invisible man. They do. You guys, you can, you can talk to these Filipino girls. You can be at a sports bar or a restaurant. It's like, you can ask them. They're going to tell you they're single. All the girls, oh yeah, I'm single, single, single. Yeah, I'm single. You know, it's like, no, they're not. They have an invisible man that nobody ever talks about. Every bar girl and waitress has an invisible man. They do, guys. I, I, I've been in Southeast Asia for a while now, and I have a friend who's an invisible man, and he's been an invisible man to girls for decades. A long time. Seriously. So I'm, I'm getting the inside. I'm, I know how this whole thing works. <laughs> um, now, even, even if, let's just say, like, e even if these Filipino girls, you know, there's, there's a lot of girls who are lesbians or bisexual or things like that. But whatever their status is, they're still going to have an invisible man. So, you know, this, this goes into number two. You will never see him. You will never see the invisible man. Uh, you know, you can be a customer. You can think that, you know, you're um, in with this Filipino girl. Um, you can think that you're her number one, number two, number three guy or whatever. And, um, you know, these girls... You're, you're not her number one. She has an invisible man that you'll never see who's above you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, he is a boyfriend or a sponsor. You know, obviously the invisible man knows this girl, has a relationship with the girl. We don't know how long they've known each other. It could be for years. It could be for a long time, but... The invisible man has known this girl longer than you. <laughs> so, um, he'll never be, you know, 
Number four, if you are in the bar or the restaurant, it means you are not the invisible man. The invisible man, he's not going to go to her place of work. He's not going to go to the bar. He's not going to the restaurant. He's not going to the sports bar. He's not going to the shopping mall. He's not, he's not hanging out with her. He's not, he, he's invisible. You're not going to see him. Every bar girl and waitress has an invisible man. All right. <clears throat> so, you, you guys, you are not the invisible man. And the reason why you're not the invisible man, because you're there, you're in the bar, you're in the restaurant, you're in the sports bar, you're in the mall, you're at her place of work. That means you're not invisible. So you are not the invisible man. But she has an invisible man that you don't know about. Number five. There's only a 1% chance you will ever become an invisible man. And it could be less than 1%. You guys, nobody talks about the invisible man, and I'm clues, cluing you in on the invisible man. A lot of you guys have never even heard of the invisible man. That's why you're not the invisible man. But, like I said, I got to meet an invisible man, and I watched him work, and yeah, he's invisible, trust me. <laughs> um, number six. There are closely guarded secrets on how to become an invisible man. I will be covering in Bar Girl Psychology 601. All right, so you guys, we're, we're doing this whole Bar Girl Psychology. It's going to be like a nine courses, so it's going to go up to 901. Um, like I said, you got to jump on this series now. Subscribe to my channel. So this is 401. We're going to do a 501, but we're going to get back into the bar girl psychology in 601. So subscribe to Ace Faster Cool. Get on board. I'm, I'm giving you informative educational experience videos about Angeles City, entertainment area, walking street, bar girls, and things like that. So, you're not the invisible man, you'll never see him, but these girls, they all have an invisible man. So just, <laughs> just remember these secrets. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace!